Today, Razer are expanding their broadcasting range of products by releasing the audio mixer. Let's talk about it. So Razer have already released the Kyo webcam. They've also released the Siren microphone. And at the end of quarter four, 2021, they released the Razer Ripsaw X, which is a capture card that is for your mirrorless camera or DSLR needs, which I have done a video on. And if you want to check out that, click this up right here and you can take you straight to the video. So inside the box, you're going to get this black pouch, which has obviously got the audio mixer inside it. It's also got a type C to type A cable, which is your power supply. You just plug that straight into your PC and straight into the back of the mixer. And then also it's got two 3.5 millimeter jacks that comes with ground loop isolators, which are these little two blocks right here. So we're going to take the mixer outside of the case here and we can already see the four audio channels, the mute buttons for each of them channels as well, the sensor key and also a button to mute your microphone and to be honest this case is not bad you could actually give this to like your kids or even put your marbles in it do, do people still use marbles or play marbles at school i used to so if we look at the front of the mixer here we can see that we have a microphone jack and also a headphone jack and then on the back side of the uh the mixer we can see we have an xlr port we can also see the line in and line out the optical in and the type c power connector so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the type c into the back of the mixer uh, we're not going to put any other cables in just yet uh, and we can kind of see that it is instantly lit up and i think it's just installed on my pc as well if so that was super super quick uh let me just check my sign up it is it's here you can see razor audio mixer it has been installed uh so first of all let's go into the uh the mixer itself and we can see there's a setup guide so if you don't know how to uh configure one of these please read this you don't want any hassle or anything like trust me i've been there done that um but channel mapping um, so okay, so we have the four channels here, which is the four dials uh, actually on the uh, the mixer itself. So we can change the first channel if we wanted to to chat, music, game, console, lining, or your system. And the mute button underneath that said channel as well could be changed to mute all, playback mix, stream mix, line out, and voice chat. But there's also long press. Wait, so if I was to long press or hold the actual mute button, it will. Oh, okay. So it's got a voice chip. Wait, is this a Go XLR large inside this little thing? Is this what Razer have done now? Is that it, they've got the Go XLR large and put this into this little small compacted mixer? It's kind of a big move to be honest. It's a bit of it's, it's, it's clever. It's clever. Um, but yeah, we can do vocal fading in here, key shift, echo reverb, voice changer. You can even change the mute button as well, just to. So you can instantly press that button and it will like mute your uh, voice chat, for example. So next up, we're going to go into the mixer tab, which we can see there's quite a bit of information. So obviously bear with me if you are super new. I'm going to go through each of these categories here. Um, so better for you uh, to understand. So in the first section, we do have the output mixer, which does look like it's all my audio controls. Yeah, so as you can see, I'm bringing down the channel on the mixer. And then we can see the second channel is connected to game. And that's going down in percentages. And it does look like it's going in increments of two as well. But you can also change it to decibels. So we can change this by a decibel state, or you can do it by a percentage state. And it does look like 68 decibels is the maximum for your microphone, which is pretty decent if you're going to be using um, a microphone that needs a lot more power. Um, next, we're going to look at playback mix. Playback mix is something that you, as a creator, is going to hear. So you could turn this down if you wanted to, uh, and you could send your stream a little bit louder. You know, you might want everything a little bit quieter. So you could just turn it down or whatever you want to here. And you can do this by a percentage as well. Uh, you can also, if you wanted to, is what do you want to hear coming through your headphones? Uh, do you want your mic? You can turn that off. So uh, if you've got a microphone plugged in, do you want to monitor that? Do you want to hear yourself coming through with zero latency? Because... When you get to more of a professional level of a streamer and you want to up your production, sometimes it is good to hear. Like me personally, I like to hear um, my mic coming through with zero latency. It's like what professionals use on stage when the mic monitoring so they can hear how loud they are and if they can hear themselves peaking if you've not set anything up correctly. Next up, 
we have the stream mix which what this is 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 what your chat is going to hear so whatever live stream service you're on you can see that this is what they're going to hear so do you want them to hear your mic of course you do uh, but do you want them to listen to the music you are uh, sending out so if you don't you could put that on there you could listen to copyrighted music because down here it's ticked you could hear that music but your stream will not because this one is unticked so you could do that if you wanted to so next you have you line out which is technically like for me i run a two pc setup and this will then get sent to my streaming pc where then all this information all this audio is sent to my stream pc where it then gets picked up by obs um and then also you have your voice chat as well so this is if you go into your uh, discord you can go into your voice and chat section and then you can go okay let's uh me assign this to this and then i can go right what do i want the people in my voice chat to hear do they want to hear the music i'm listening to do they want to hear the game i'm playing no obviously not do they want to hear the console the lining or the system more than likely not more than more than often if you're in a group chat with friends you might just want to put your music on and your mic obviously you need your mic uh, but you might want to send the music that you're listening to to your friends whilst you're gaming together who knows uh, next, let's have a look at the microphone settings and we can see here if you're going to be using the XLR in or the microphone jack on the front side of it. So you can choose if you want the phantom power um, as well and then you can increase your microphone gain and everything from here as you can see and you can do it by the percentage and decibels as well. And mic monitoring. This again is like I said earlier was if you want to hear yourself. Uh, noise gate obviously everyone has fans in the background children running around uh, your mum in the other room or anything like this where they might be a little bit loud they might have another gamer in the same room as you and you just don't want them to hear or your chat to hear so obviously configure this noise gate work what best with you turn on your mic monitoring so you can hear what is going on in your room if you turn on your mic monitor and you can hear a fan in the background all you need to do is just turn this and then work this out yourself and until that fan goes then you're good then you have your uh, microphone equalizer. So there is some presets here. So we have default, radio voice, balanced, mid focused, all this kind of stuff. And there is a custom if you want to change this. Normal, if you want to, uh, the normal side of things, if you want to create um, a broadcast kind of voice, you're going you're gonna to kind of want to raise your, your bass up a little bit, bring your mids down and bring your treble up a tiny little bit. Go for like a two minus two, uh, one decibel as well. Um, but that's usually what I kind of run at the minute. Um, maybe I'll find adjust it, but everyone has their own voice. Um, not everyone should always copy another creator's mic equalizer. You can give them a bit of a base level where they can go to and get feedback from another creator to say, does this sound right? Or even ask your chat. You could boot this up into your chat and go, chat, how do I sound like right now? Is there too much bass in my voice? If not, let's bring it down, you know? Uh, all this kind of stuff. You can even change this to a radio voice, and you can kind of see that's near enough what I have. It's just that I bring my mid tones a little bit down, uh, a little bit. Next, you have your compressor as well. Compressor is when you start getting loud. If you're a person that likes to shout in game and you scream like me, you got to put a compressor on. If you don't put a compressor on, this right here is going to peak. This, if you if you go into this, that means your chat is going to lose their eardrums. Um, but yeah, again, turn on your mic monitoring and if you hear yourself peeking, put your compressor up, fix it, sort it out and then save your hassle. Plus, at the end of the day, the first thing that any broadcaster, even if you don't have a um, webcam, please make sure your audio is the first thing because everyone would listen to a nice, like you could have a professional um, stream look, you could have the DSL, you could have the best cameras, you could have the 4K, you could have all of this, but you could have really bad audio. If you have really bad audio, not a lot of people's gonna stay. So do your best to make that your priority as a broadcaster or a streamer. Please go into your audio software, learn from other creators. There's a lot of other channels out there that offer guidance on how to create audio and learn the basics. Um, and just go out there, learn it, and uh, make it a lot easier for your chat, trust me. Um, you won't understand it yet, but I used to have a very, very peaky mic when I was early on and i didn't know that until somebody said in chat so i went and researched i learned it and then i'm taking that and passing it on to others now so it's how it works next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the effects and we can see this is where the whole effects comes in so we can put the echo reverb and this is by just pressing the button uh, if we go back to the customize here we can see toggle voice changer 
um, so I can change this to whatever I want if I hold it for a couple of seconds. Um, and yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, it, I'm kind of nice. Cause it, this is kind of a bit of a luxury. It doesn't get used a lot, but if you want to troll your friends in a game with a scurry scream or a something like that, this is what it could use. And you can create some memes with this, all that kind of stuff, you know? Um, you can go into your lighting as well, and this is where you can change all your lighting. You can have it's, you can obviously spectrum cycling, and you can change all these. What do I want it to? Or do I want to put a custom color in here? Do I want this static? Do I want it breathing? Uh, and it all changes. And I'm not going to lie... This is, this is pretty cool. It's very easy to understand. Just don't look at all this information at once. Look at it in segments. Look at this. If I want to turn the Razer uh, logo off, you can see now at the top of my um, mixer, it's actually gone. And if I turn that off, I could turn all the lights off on everything that uh, is coming in. You don't just have to use this if you're a broadcaster or a streamer as well. You could use this if you're a musician. You could use this if you are a DJ or on the go and you just want your laptop there and you just want to plug a uh, USB in. You could be on a plane. You could just have this on your knee and just slide the slides up and down just to create that better control with your audio. It just makes life so much easier. And trust me, I use mixers uh, for quite a few years now broadcasting and streaming it's made my life so much easier and now race has brought one out with a broadcast lineup and uh for sure i think you guys should obviously pick it up it's got a lot of things built into this small compact compared to other companies and all that kind of stuff so yeah razor again thank you so much for sending me this this was obviously sent to me at the beginning of february and now this video i think is getting dropped in the middle of march so hello past me and hello future you from the past hello is that right? Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you've got any comments, please leave them in the description below. And as always, keep smiling.